All right, traders. So today we have another Bow Daily Recap. It is Monday, March 4th, and today we have two things that we're going to go over. So first things first, Bow does live trading on CIFS, and this is tailored to the backside of the move. This is backside trading on CIFS, and also Bow brings on a member by the name Mashalot in chat, and he gives a sick testimonial for MIC. So we wanted to share that with you guys. And to catch the rest of the 90 minute, hour and a half video that Bao put together today, guys, go to myinvestingclub.com and become an exclusive member. All right, let's get into it. So, uh, Mashalot, Jason, how, how are you doing, man? With, uh, so, Jason Mashalot, is, um, he, he started to do more of uh, the, the quicker scalps to build his account versus uh, buying and holding. How, how is that working out? Can you explain to the group? Maybe I'll let you go on camera. Jason, are you in the camera? Mesh a lot? I mean, I'm um, <laughs> yeah, I could go on camera. Uh, let me take the tape off. I uh, don't want the government spying on me. <laughs> All right. Uh, so Jason can explain what he's doing. Maybe he can help a lot of people. Yeah, so I mean, I'm basically doing exactly what you're telling us right now and what you've been saying all along. You haven't deviated from what you say. Um, and I know from personal experience that it works so unbelievably well. It's hard to imagine if you actually like really do this, really go for what he's telling you to do. What am I telling you to do? Just, just to reiterate what what you are doing just to clarify okay so uh buy buy at support um when the stock pulls back uh from emotion so it, it pops up a lot everybody's buying um a bunch of noobs are buying the breakout it's going to probably pull back and if it has a strong emotional pullback down to a support level and it can be a support level that you know, you're not very confident about, but you just, you take the shot, you try, because it's all about probabilities. So you get long at that spot and it bounces. I just aim for 10 cents. If I make, if I get more than 10 cents, that's great. Less than 10 cents, I'll take it if it looks like it's heavy. Um, <clears throat> and it works so well. It's really hard to believe, but it really does work. And the way that I was able to build the confidence to actually pull the trigger because it's really scary to buy when you see a bunch of red candles and it looks like it's going to just plummet. Um, I paper traded, you know, I paper traded last year for a long time. And by doing that and, and having success with this strategy over and over and over and over, eventually I had enough confidence to do it with like, I just tried to make like 10 bucks, you know, um, and then I just built up from there. And it's going really, really well right now, just by the way. Remember, this is a member. You have to learn how to walk and crawl first before you run. So what, J uh, what Jason is doing is, I mean, he's getting comfortable with the trading. He's getting comfortable with going in and going out. The more of these he does, the more confidence he gets. And then he can size up later. Um, he's working on process. In my opinion, process is the most important thing, guys. Don't worry about your P&L. Because the PNL all takes care of itself if you trade well, okay? If you follow the same process and do not break the rules, you know, over time, probability says you will make money. Uh, support is there for reasons. Uh, resistance. And then later on, you can try new things, guys. This is not like the, 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 this is not the strategy for your entire lifetime. This is, but this will start you. And the reason I, this is like the movie, um, The Karate Kid, guys. The guy's like, why am I cleaning the car? Wax on, wax off, right? And that's the whole point. The whole point about taking these scalps, in my opinion, is just to get yourself comfortable with the lines, getting yourself comfortable with placing trades and taking money off the table. So basically it's a wax on, wax off. And then later on, you can, you can add more and hold longer. So don't just think of this as, dude, this is what you can do for the rest of your life, right? Taking these 10, 20 cents moves. So then you start doing recycling like I do and all that. It starts to add up, but it all comes upon being comfortable and being trusting of your strategy. And in my opinion, the strategy I always like to use is the lines, man. Um, VWAP matches the line. Everything matches the line. I, I just show you, if it doesn't match the lines, don't trade that stock. Make, make sense. Uh, 
I would agree with that 100%. Look for stocks that match the lines. Another thing that's really helpful that I see people asking about is, um, yeah, I put my orders in beforehand. You know, it, these things, they move too fast to hit it right at the moment. You know, you could try, you know, it drops down to whatever your support line is, and then you can try a market order. But that's a terrible idea because you could get filled 10 cents, 20 cents above the support. And now you're starting out in a bad location, in a bad spot. So you put the orders in before, and then I'm still working on my exits. My exits are really bad. Um, but you can limit out or you can mark it out, whatever. But the point is you put the orders in ahead of time. And then I personally, I just hope it, it pulls back to that line, you know? Yeah, exactly. That's what it is, man. You, you basically, I put out the orders too, man. I put out before it gets there because it's so damn fast. If it hits, if, if it, if it truly hits that, it'll pounce up and you know, it's so fast when you do manual. So you put it ahead of time and then you can always add more. So I always put my stuff ahead of time, a smaller size guys. So, um, if you want to learn this strategy, man, you can help. Uh, Jason's there. Um, yeah, my name's Mashalot in the chat. I'm happy to help. So just match a lot. Yep. Yep. All right, guys, welcome to today's day recap. Finally back from a long trip away, man. Felt like an eternity. Um, came back and I, I knew I was going to have major FOMO. I knew it. I knew it was going to be like, man, I'm, I'm I want to trade. I want to trade. So I needed to make sure that I don't go all crazy. So I actually, being away actually helped. Uh, making sure you guys can hear me. You guys can hear me well. That's why I don't scream. I'm, I'm still a little sick. Never got well. I got well and then um, the guys over in London killed me. So I was out. <laughs> those guys can drink, man. But I, I, took them, I took them down. I took those guys down. So, um, Notice CI investing, man. It's still it's still holding this, but as as a if you go long, it's just risky as hell. The easy move of the long is done. Now, now the VWAP. I mean, all the indicators are lining up that this sucker is like backside. But you know what, man? They 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 held it here and they squeezed all the way up. They could hold it here and squeeze it up. But it's like. What, what are the odds, right? I mean, it, right now, all, everybody's looking for a short. The $6 line would be a great short on this stock right now, CFS, if it comes back up to six bucks. <clears throat> so you see how that works? I mean, they could save it, guys, but the easy move is over. Why are, you tr why, why are the longs now trying to play the hard stuff? It's like you're most likely may lose more than you'll win. Hang on a second. You, does that make sense to you guys? I mean, it, so if you draw your line, remember everything revolves around line. I mean, let me cover this GMU. I shorted the 250 line. <laughs> um, okay, let's go down to 219. I, I just couldn't fucking resist, dude. So here, here, here's my JMU shorts here, the 250 line. So I'm going to cover, took some off. I mean, remember what I said, man, you got to take some off on the front side, man. If this is all front side, I could break 250 again, do whatever. So I took the easy wins on JMU. So I've been, I've just been shorting the 250 JMU and covering down here. Um, but okay, let's get back to what we're talking about here. So there's so many things to talk about. Look at that CFS, CFS. You see that man? It did trap. It went down to 528. So 528 was what I bought on the way up. Remember on the way up, guys. Remember I was waiting for the. So let's let's show you what I really. Let me check. I'm gonna show you this. That's just so much to, uh, to show here. I just want to see if, uh, what, what can I show?
Look at that trap, man, from 528. You see this? So I post all my, all my trades, I post over in the charts recap room for you guys to see. So let's see what we did here, okay? Um, in the morning, I recognize it was a, I woke up late on purpose because I knew I was gonna have FOMO. Not really on purpose, but I just didn't want, I couldn't get up, but um, when I woke up, it was around here. I got to my desk around 8.15 around this point right here. And I know that, hey, there, there's a line here. This, and I noticed, dude, this thing ripped the shorts, but the shorts are dead. Um, and so I'm like, dude, it's not gonna keep going down because you know why, what gave me the confidence? Let me show you. If I go to CFS. While I was away, remember CFS went to 350 and then tanked down. People thought it was dead. And so it started to climb. Notice a T plus two. So it started to climb. So these are the tricky stocks, man. This, this pattern happens all the time. Okay. Take a look at this. See that? That's why you cover, man. Look at this shit. It's going to rip. You see that? That's why you fucking cover. Um, if you don't cover, you get this kind of move, man. second so look at this pattern okay you see this pattern often many times guys in small cap low floaters okay what they do is they do the initial run up and people think it's over but remember i said the, the low hanging fruit is usually on the second on the day after the continuation play it can go a couple days more but if you keep holding this shit there's a huge chance that it will reclaim and then when it passes this the high of day from this, this should be been a, sim, uh, a signal for all shorts to get the hell out. And that's what happened today, man. Today just fucking went for long, bonkers. And so I knew that, dude, there's so many people stuck thinking that, hey, man, this thing is a piece of crap that's going to come back down. And then when this happened, it, it blew away the VWAP, everything. There's so many people stuck right here at this level right here. And so that's why it gave me the confidence to go long. And I saw a pattern, remember, I'm, I'm just looking for a pattern. So the pattern I see is every time it hits the 460 line here, it bounced. It did it two times. It did it, you know, the, these, these wicks are just like misprints or late prints or whatever, okay? So I, we ignore these, but here, it supported it twice and it went back up. So then I took a, a chance here and it worked. So I took here and I took some off here and then went down and did the same thing. So I keep doing the same thing. People, the shorts are upside down, man. They're, I mean, this even at the 460 level here, guys, 460 right here, the shorts are all here. So they were upside down. So the, the, the hard part, the first part you got to see is recognize if it's a long or a short. Okay? I, I came in, I was like, dude, shorts are upside down. Why them? I'm not going to chase. I see this so many times that they trap, they run. This is a low floater. So all I did was, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing the, if the 460 line broke down, yeah, I will then maybe think about the short. But it held all day long. So why not keep doing it? And these, these 25 cent scalps add up, man. You do this three times, that's 75 cents. And so what I did is then I scaled, scaled out. The only trap, so the major trap that, so at the open, 9.30 open, so people, so people thought it, this was the major trap for shorts. If you were a short, you were short here. So I took a little short and I covered here. But if you didn't, if you took a big position here, this spike up will kill you. And then, so what happens now is this. I recognize that the shorts were stuck. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not eager to short, guys. The only reason I shorted here, because I, I, six is a mental resistance. And I see them try to break it a couple times and it couldn't. So I just kind of joined in, just nibbles, right? And I, I took my covers for 20 cents. You see this? I covered it. I shorted the six line, covered it. Just to see what it's going to do. I, at this point, I don't know. I'm not committed, man. I'm, I'm, my, I set a max size for the front side. So that's how I stay alive. So let's, let's revisit what I said there. 
So all these times, man, we don't know what's going on. So we, we just try to play with the odds. See, the key to staying alive on the front. So this is a, this is a long all the way. But then when it reaches an overextended point, because look, it parabolic up to the six line. But when it does this, there's a high likelihood that it's going to have to give some relief, okay, until the next leg. And so that's why we went on this. So it went all the way to six and it went all the way to 528, guys. That's a big move. It's still over the support here, 460 line support from the morning. So shorts are still upside down, man. So all we did was we, we looked for the first bounce. First bounce is basically the first wash off of a major move. So this was a major move. From 460 to $6 is a major move. It's pretty much a parabolic up. So if it, if it parabolics up, it's gonna crater down. This is what's called a technical bounce, okay? So it's basically, it's all technical stuff. If it goes up so fast, it has to drop down a little bit, okay? Before it goes to the next move. And so all we're doing is taking advantage of that. And the fact that, the fact that it's being supported here, people upside down, now you're just trying to see what the next support is. So the next support I see was around this point here, because this is where it stalled, which also lined up with here. So if you take a, if you do a line from here to here, it comes to this. And it kind of matches this right here. So all day, this line has been supported. So this is the magic line, in my opinion. All right, guys, that concludes the preview today of the full length 90 minute hour and a half video. If you want to watch the rest of this video, go to www.myinvestingclub.com and sign up. And in the full length video, you get to see live trading from Bao as he demonstrates on CIFS and JMU. All right, guys, catch you later.